In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a basic alert dialog with text, buttons, and a title. To get started, you can go to Android Studio and copy the code I have in my activity main.xml. It's basically a button at the center of the screen. Then go to mainactivity.java and create your button object. Because we're going to create the alert dialog when the user taps on the button. And an alert dialog is basically a pop-up dialog box that contains a message and some buttons. In future tutorials, I'll teach you how to customize that alert dialog with your own layout, as well as create a progress dialog, which has a progress bar to show um, the progress in a certain task. Create an alert dialog. Start by creating an alert dialog.builder object. I'm going to call it builder. I'm going to set this equal to a new alert dialog.builder, and as the parameter, I'm going to provide the context. So you're going to want to say main activity dot this, or so whatever the name of your activity is, and provided this keyword. If you provide the context by saying get application context, that may uh, cause some errors. So make sure to do this specifically. Once you're done, you can set certain attributes of the builder of the alert dialog by saying builder dot set, and you can see there's a bunch of functions. The first one I'm going to change is the title. I'm going to set that to IJ apps. I'm also going to change the message by saying dot set message. And so I'm going to say, are you subscribed to IJ apps? To give you an idea of what this will look like, this is what a basic alert dialog looks like with a title and a message. So right now, our alert dialog will say uh, IJ apps over here, and then are you subscribed to IJ apps? You can also see there's a no and yes button. So in order to respond to clicks on those no and yes buttons, we have to set uh, on click listeners to our buttons. And by default, those are called the positive button and negative button. So I'm going to come here and say builder.setPositive button, and I'm going to provide the text for it. So what it's going to be called? I'm just going to say yes. And then for the second parameter, which is the on click listener, I'll say new dialog interface dot on click listener. And over here, this is the action that will take place when the user clicks yes. So for myself, I'm going to just say to so make text get application context. And, and I'm going to display the text saying great because they just clicked yes, they are subscribed. You can do whatever you want with that. I'm going to copy and paste this to do the same thing for the no button, except this time it will be uh, the negative button. And over here I'm just going to make a sad face because that means they are not subscribed, which you should definitely do if you're not. Finally, I'm going to display the alert dialog builder by saying alert dialog and creating a new object from my builder by saying builder.create and you can see over here the return type is an alert dialog. Finally, I'll say alert.show and I'm going to run this. When I launch the app, you can see this press me button in the center. When I tap on it, this dialog shows up and then when I press no, it shows a sad face. But the thing is right now, there's two, bu uh, two dialogs pop up whenever I click on the button and that's because I'm using an on touch listener which gets triggered every time there's an action down when I press down and also when I press up. That's what I'm going to say if motion event dot get action equals motion event dot action down. So it'll only get triggered once. And if you're using an on click listener, you'll not be encountering this problem. It's just a minor thing. So now when I run it again and tap on the button, when I click no, it gets dismissed. And it also shows a toast over there. When I press yes, it says great. So this is how you create a basic alert dialog. And over here, you can replace the toast with whatever actions you want to perform, like taking them to the next page in the screen, or maybe showing a custom message. And the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to change certain attributes, such as the, adding an icon over here. After that, I'll also show you how to put your own layout. So instead of having this default layout over here with the title and message and two buttons, you can just take an XML file and set your dialog to have that same content. Until then, stay tuned for future uh, tutorials and subscribe.